Hi, Kevin Blanche. I'm back on my rants, and this one might take a while. In case of the BP disaster, in the case of the meltdown in Japan, in case of the Wall Street meltdown, they're all the same fucking thing. This is a philosophical fucking battle that's been going on for 30 fucking years, and these fuckers mowed you down because you fucking let them. Fuck, I grew up in this real dynamic, progressive fucking America, you know, in this time out on this fucking magnificent ranch, raised by a special forces fucking marine, raised by a guy who stood on Omaha Beach on D-Day. I fucking love fucking what America fucking was about. I sit and watch these fucking so-called hippies march in the fucking street and stand up. I'm like, holy cow. I watch fucking Dan Rather be fucking reporting from the fucking trenches in the fuck thing. Oh yeah, fuck, CBS fired him. The greatest fucking reporter of all fucking time. Oh, yeah, because George Bush dodged the fucking draft. Wow. Wow, there's a fucking pit. The hippies were not right. The hippies were fake. I watched these guys fucking protest. I watched these people stand up to injustices. I watched these people overcome fucking the fucking Jim Crow South. I watched it every day in my face like so many of us did. Wow. They had me idealistic. They had me romanticized. I grew up out here on the fucking shores of the Great Salt Lake. I read Rachel Carson's fucking book when I was a boy at our magnificent progressive school. It was required. I'm like, oh, I watched as I slid right on the back edge of the greatest fucking delta in the fucking United States, the northern fucking flyway here on the mighty Wasatch. Thousands of geese, thousands of blue herons, thousands of fucking swans. I watched them be fucking polluted and destroyed. I watched all this fucking before my eyes. I was idealistic. I did everything right. I fucking read Michelangelo when I was a boy and fucking went to the hawk and trial because of him. He's the one that influenced me. I build up right. Everybody says, oh, fuck, I write about a lot of secret societies. You must be a mason. Fuck yeah, I'm a mason. A rock mason. I split my own fucking rock. I fucking lay fucking authentic rock. I fucking do laugh in fucking plaster. I don't lay fake fucking rock. For that matter, I don't like fake females either. I'm authentic as authentic fucking gets. I fucking bought into this indoctrination. I had this long, long hair. I grew up with a family of fucking professional athletes. Great, big, fucking strong boys on this fucking ranch. I was raised by a God-fearing fucking Christian fucking Mormon fucking woman. I had a fucking ranch. I bought into this idealistic fucking thing that, oh, look at these people protest and stand up. I fucking love fucking music. I will fucking, I remember, and I was one of these guys that would stand at the fucking record store in the fucking early 80s and wait. And I'll, I'll tell you when this whole fucking thing started. When they killed fucking Lennon, and when I, I I'll never forget, I'll never forget, stand, reading a fucking article that Tom Schultz of Boston fucking wrote, and he's like, fuck these corporate pieces of shit. They tricked me into a car and they fuck them. I'm not participating. People living in competition, all I want is my peace of mind. He's the only one who fucking stood up. The rest of them caved. He fucking knew. I ain't singing for Pepsi. I ain't singing for fucking Coke. All these guys that made all this fucking money fucking off us in their music and literature. We bought into it. We believed it. We believed it. Fuck Stevie Nicks. Went to school fucking right here. My twin sister, everybody used to call her Stevie. Girls wore fucking flowers in their fucking hair because of you. Because of the hippies. They had us fucking believe in the fucking... You know, the environment was better. They had us believing there were peace and war and against the fucking war. I educated myself. I worked. I'll never forget it. I went to Wall Street. I was a derivative arbitrage specialist. The number one trader on the entire fucking floor. I graduated from the number one school of business in the United States. Go talk to the other 26. I was fucking teaching the fucking futures and options trading for the professors while I was going. That's the kind of fucking student I was. I was the number one trader on the entire platform. I remember an old guy named Fred I used to work with came to me one day and he says, Kevin, you believe all this idealistic bullshit you bought? He says, let me tell you about those hippies and the fucking nom guys or whatever, the contemporaries that took to the streets. They were all for this fucking war. They're a bunch of Freudian fucking liars. He says, so, the only reason they were in the street because of the draft. They didn't want to be fucking drafted. They're fake motherfuckers. Don't you understand? They're a bunch of spoiled, rotten, baby boomer, fake motherfuckers. Well, as time went on, I thought about that a lot. And I was on Wall Street, and I watched the fucking corruption. I watched it in my fucking face, and I seen these fucking daddy's boys, fucking Princeton, Freudian fucking punks, and their scams and their fucking schemes. I watched it. I watched it. And Fred was fucking right. He was fucking right. I fucking watched the creepy fucking crook again. But then I sat back and I thought, you know what? I've been bitching. Here these guys invent this 401k. You will hand them their money for 50 years. 
50 years you've given their fucking money. And then they're like, ha, ha, we'll give it back to you. And when you're talking term fucking 65 or 70, <laughs> it, it, we'll give it back to you if the fucking nuclear radiation doesn't fucking kill you or the pollution of the earth first. Fuck. So you can buy some diapers and fucking Viagra with it. And you dumb fuckers do it. You sit and watch CNBC, their fucking propaganda machine. You sit and watch Fox, their fucking propaganda machine. And then I get these fucking emails from all these so-called fucking progressives. Please! Oh, God, he's crazy. He ran, ran, whatever, man. Because I said, go kill fucking Gaddafi. He killed University of Syracuse fucking students. I was a student then. They had minds like me. I was one of these guys that would stand at the fucking record store and fucking wait for these records to come out. I remember reading what Tom Schultz said. I remember fucking ain't singing for Pepsi, ain't singing for Coke. Don McClain, what a lying, phony motherfucker. Anybody even used one word out of his, he fucking sues him. Boy, right fucking now, he wrote a fucking song about fucking Jagger saying he was a fuck. They're all fake. Every one of them are fake. They're sitting around eating their Ben and Jerry's fucking ice cream and fucking sitting in their basement fucking bitching to their significant fucking half when they do fucking nothing. They do nothing. They were all about their fucking money. They were all about their fucking money. That's all they fucking were. Fake, fake, phony, baby, boom, pieces of shit. And all you fuckers are bombing the show, show, show. You don't even know how to fucking spell it. You wouldn't know a difference between a communist and a fucking capitalist. You don't know anything to fucking about it. Yet you'll sit and say this fucking shit. That was a progressive. That was a progressive. That was a progressive. John Kennedy's the last progressive we had in this fucking country. The last. We haven't had one since. And you think he was fucking weak? You didn't. Th you think Bobby didn't fucking rant and rave? You didn't think fucking Harry fucking rant and raved? You don't think he ran? Go fucking read his 1948 fucking whistle stop speech. They were strong. Progressives are fucking strong. That's a problem in this fucking country. I get these people email. Oh, God, he's crazy. I wonder if he's got a fucking nah, 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 nah. Fuck police. Cordial conversations are dangerous. Passion, intelligent arguments get fucking results. You fucking morons attack me with that kind of fucking ignorant, fucking low IQ, poorly educated, Fox News, 10 second fucking soundbite bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you think I'm afraid of you. I got guys, guys like you get shot at every, oh, oh, you fucking trying to intimidate me. Wow, I grew up on a fucking ranch in Utah. You don't think this place is fucking hard. You don't think this place is rough. I stay here. I live here. I quit my fucking Wall Street job. I was so pissed. I would sing to myself every day, Dreamer, you're nothing but a dreamer. You got your head up your ass. I had my head up my ass believing these idealistically romanticized, lying, Freudian, hippie, fucking phony fucks. Ben and Jerry ice cream eating phony fucks. They sit and rant and rave and do fucking nothing. They think they're soft. Fuck, I'm not fucking soft. You think I got these fucking scars? You think I was born with those fucking scars? I had a bumper sticker on my car that said fucking Bush Light Soldier Sight the day before we went in. In Utah. You don't think I know how to fight? You don't think I can handle intimidation? You don't think I know how to fucking shoot? Please, don't fucking try intimidate me with that kind of shit. It will not fucking work. I am a progressive. I'm a true progressive. I'm a true fucking liberal. And I'm pissed off at what's happened in this country. Not just on the right, on the left too. I fucking had it with all you baby boomer phony lying motherfuckers.